Stop paying for an antivirus for your Windows 10 computer. Seriously, stop it. Now if you're thinking, whoa, who would be crazy enough to connect to the internet today without an antivirus, you would be absolutely right. But what you might not realize is that Windows 10 actually has an antivirus built right into the operating system. So basically, we've just been paying for an antivirus because that's what we've done every single year. But not anymore. So you might have some questions like, is Windows 10 antivirus really any good? Is it really free or is there a couple of catches we need to be aware of? Let's discuss all that and then I'll show you how to set yours up. And yes, it is absolutely free. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Liron Sega, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadgets and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. So just like you, over the years I've been paying for some really great antivirus software from companies like Kaspersky and Norton. Of course they come at a price, but realistically that isn't so bad, especially when you think about all those features they keep adding on into their program. However, if you have a household full of computers and each one of those needs an antivirus license and they don't use any of these features, well, things do start to add up. Now that my license is about to expire, I decided to do a little bit of research to see what else is going on out there. And that's when I discovered the Microsoft Defender antivirus. Now, yes, that name isn't new. That's been around for quite a while. And let's be honest, when it first came out, it was actually uh, horrible. Horrible. But things change. Fast forward to the May 2020 update for Windows 10. And now the Microsoft Defender is actually built in to Windows 10 as part of the Windows security tools. But is Microsoft Defender antivirus any good? Will it really protect your system? Or is it one of those freebies that you're kind of a little bit on the fence about? Well, that was my question. So I went to avtests.org and that essentially is an institution that runs constant tests on antivirus and gives them a ranking. This report was done in June of 2020. So it's obviously very up to date at the time of recording this. As you can see, it scored a good six out of six for being one of the top products. I will have a link to this report in the description in case you want to go check it out. The thing that is worth noting is that sometimes it does do a false positive. In other words, it flags legitimate software as being an issue. Of course, you can overwrite that within the program, but hey, it's just worth taking a note of that. Okay, so six out of six, that's darn good. Let's go show you how to enable and what you actually get with Windows Defender. Right, within your Windows, go to your search and then start typing Windows Security and there you'll see it pop up, open up the screen. Right, when that comes up, you'll see it's made up of a whole bunch of applications all falling under Windows Security. On the left-hand side, Virus and Threat Protection is the one we're interested in and here is your Windows Defender's option. Now, if you currently have an antivirus installed on your computer, you will not see these options as your antivirus is responsible for managing your system. However, once you uninstall your current antivirus, well, then the Windows Defender will then take its place and start defending your system. So what options are we interested in here? As you can see, you've got the quick scan, the deep scan, as you normally would with any antivirus, virus and threat protection settings, click on manage, and here you just want to make sure all these things are on real time, cloud delivery protection, automatic sample, temper protection. I just have all these things on. Oh, this is the important bit, controlled folder access. You want to click on managed and we want to make sure that this is on. This is your anti ransomware protection. You know, those viruses or malware that get onto your machine, encrypt your drive and they charge you a whole bunch of Bitcoin in order to get access back to your own computer. Well, once you have this on, it will just make sure that those selected folders are actually protected and those malware can do nothing to you. Now you may be asking how often the, the virus database gets updated, the signatures. Well, they get updated quite regularly. They get updated automatically. But of course, if you want to, you can click on check for updates just to force the latest update to happen. Right, as we've come accustomed with every other antivirus. And since we're here, we might as well discuss the great firewall that you actually get with your Windows security. And a firewall, essentially what it does, it looks at your traffic coming into your network, out of your network, to your computer, away from your computer, and it makes decisions whether it's allowed in or not allowed in. 
You get this on some of the more advanced antivirus programs, but you get it here as part of Windows security. And as we go out there on the web, we're browsing websites, we're downloading files, we're gonna get additional protection by enabling the app and browser control every time we hit a site that's been reported as dodgy or as phishing scams, or we try to download a zip file or an exe file that's full of malware, this will protect us, doesn't even allow us to download it to our computer and gives us all those beautiful, beautiful warnings. Amazing stuff from Windows Security, all built in. And there we go, another Windows 10 tips for you. Check out more tips and tricks down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in those videos. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.